Here it is, guys. The final match, the deciding match. Chad Vilmot from the hot seat lost his first match against Vilmos Foldish. And so here we are, the deciding race to six in this true double elimination at the Andy Mercer 30th Annual Nine Ball Classic at the Rum Runner Lounge. Get ready to rumble, folks. Chad Vilmont racking for Vilmos will break. Race to six, let's do this. Down to the nitty gritty. Hold on, hold on. Everything you need for your game room at westdaybilliards.com. Palm Desert's very own Lux Electric Car. Countless possibilities and infinite fun. The best protection for your queue at JD Cases. GoPlaypool.com. Download the free app to your device today. Tiger Products and the Sev Edition. Icebreaker Break Cube. Leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to POV Pool on YouTube. Never miss a shot. In action here, Vilmos has won the coin flip. He gets the opening break. Thanks, everybody, to all of our sponsors, and uh, thanks in advance to Jimmy, the Floydster, Mattia, for spending time with me and doing commentary on this match. Boy, that first match was pretty amazing. Oh, it was uh, beautiful. Hill, Hill. Beautiful. That's what people like to see. Vilmos with the break here. He makes the... Uh, what do you make this? The six? No, made the uh, one ball went down. So he's long on the two here. Cue ball in the bottom corner. I believe corner he pocket. made the four ball. I think he made the four. The on four's the break. right there. Oh, he made okay. the one. He made the oh, one. Okay. okay. Nice shot on the two. Very nice shot. Well, wait, wait a minute. Where's where's the snowball going? Uh, well, don't worry about the snowball. It, Long way to go in his match, and he's going to get tortured just like the other guy. I mean, things are going to happen. Things are going to happen. And uh, right now, he, you know, he has a little tricky little shot here on the three ball. He's going to have to roll it. I think the four ball, Daniel, maybe goes down in the corner. If it does, then he has a, a good opportunity to maybe win this first game, to maybe break and run out. Obviously, the four goes down in the corner. Walking the dog down the table there. Yep. He's in good position right now. He plays real smooth, real smooth. Now he's going to have to play position on a six ball to come two rails behind the eight, come down table and make the seven ball in the corner pocket. I believe that's what he's going to try to do. Play position on the six. Okay. Well, I don't think he liked that. I don't think that was what he was trying to do. Well, uh, he's all right here, Jimmy. He well, just... he's changed things. He had a he had an angle <laughs> okay. to go around the, the table to get very good position on the seven ball. Now well, he's drawing all the way now, back. Now, well, that's what I mean. He had to really stroke that ball well, and he did. That was good he, speed. A very that nice very shot. Very nice shot. But I don't think he wanted to get straight in on that. He's six not ball. straight in. He's not straight. No, in. I'm talking about on oh, the six. Oh, the ball. six. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. He but didn't. no, he made a very nice shot, and he is in good position right now to take game number one. He won the flip, so he had the opening break, and it looks as though he has a great chance to break and run out. He's all right. He is all right. 
Got a little bit of angle on this, but I don't think he'll have much of a problem the way he's playing. Excellent shot maker. Game one to Vilmos. And that's a big advantage, Daniel, when you can win that first game, especially when you had the break and never give your opponent a chance to the table. To win that first game, you know, it's a lifter for you. You know, you, you just feel good about it. Pressure is on Chad right now. He must come back with a win here in the second game. Otherwise, you're down to nothing. So always winning that first game is a big lift. Yeah, you, you mentioned that in the first race. I want to say thanks to Lock Win. Uh, thank you for your $10 super chat. Appreciate the stream. Get a beer on me. Thank you. Speaking of uh, uh, getting a beer, I want to thank Gary Onamura for uh, getting me a beer as well. Appreciate you, buddy. Owner of Good Times Billiards. If you ever want to go to a good pool hall in Vegas, check out Good Times with a Z. You'll be having good times with an S. Well, I don't know. He didn't buy me nothing. What am I going to say? You know, I couldn't get a cotton candy. Forget about it. Hey, you got a full barrel over there. <laughs> I'm just visiting. You're here every day, Jimmy. <laughs> anyway, Gary told me he only works with professionals. That's right. <laughs> I know our good friend Jerry Downey is up there and... Pool heaven right now, uh, enjoying yeah. this match. Oh, I can tell I you know. that. Yeah, stick around, guys. After this match, we're gonna give away Terry's cue, and uh, Jimmy Mattia is gonna sign the jump cue. <laughs> uh, we miss you, Terry. We really do. Absolutely, he's an icon, just like we miss Morrow, Ismael Paez. Well, he's still around. He's still I know, alive. I know, but it's sad that he can't he be can't. at the event anymore here. It's oh, just, he's... you know, just really, really sad. Great guy and a terrific player and a gentleman. And then uh, two years prior, we lost Doc Rice. He was a regular yeah, here. Yep, yes, sir. Uh, you know, it's just a reminder. We're all, I say it all the time, we're all standing in the same line. We're all in different parts mm -hmm. of the same line. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing here, Jimmy? Uh, well, I know what you do. You try to ride, ride the, the nine. nine, okay? <laughs> Forget about it. You better believe it. <laughs> Uh, I'm going for the cheese. I'm the biggest rat in Las Vegas. Now here's where knowledge comes in. Playing defense. Yeah. yeah. Now we know these guys play offense, Daniel. But when you get into situations like this, yeah, this is where the real knowledge comes in. Okay. Do you shoot this shot? Do you let the other guys shoot it? Or, you know, uh, now comes the improvising. Well, trying to control the one ball and at the same time trying to control the cue ball. He's digging in a little bit, so uh, he obviously is trying to hide behind the six and uh, bank the uh, one up and down table. Oh, no, he's he doing didn't get the right there. shot. He's doing the right shot, trying to get down there behind those balls, but he didn't hit it hard enough. Otherwise, no, he had no. a, an excellent uh, defensive shot there. It well, was the speed. He, you was, know. he was jacked up on the cue ball because he had the rail. It was well, too close to the rail. These are things you got to live with in the sport of pocket billiards. Yeah. Uh, they don't call it the toughest non physical sport in the world for nothing. Okay. Open shot for uh, Vilmos here, who leads by one game in this race to six. He used the se seven ball as a stopper, and he's perfect on the two. But the uh, problem is, is uh, I think the three passes the nine to the corner I believe pocket. it does easily. Yeah, looks like there's, there's enough room there. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, and he's got angle on the two to where he could get on the three. But how do you get to the four? That's that's the key shot. How do you get to the four? And not only getting to the four, but then get to the five. You know, he, he does not have an easy yeah. run out here. Yeah. He it's has a, an opportunity. It's a but difficult But trust rack. me, the run out is, is not easy here. He must execute his cue ball and it's make the shot at the same time. He has an opportunity here, but this is not an easy rack. And when you look at the layout of the balls, he's got to play pinpoint position with his cue ball. Also just has to have a, a, a good pattern in mind. Uh, that's what I mean by excellent position with his cue ball, uh, Daniel. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You're learning, my friend. <laughs> And he's looking at it because he knows that this is not an easy run out. All right, well, how straight is he on this three? Trying to get to the four and trying to get to the five. That's the difficulties that he has in this particular frame. The balls are spread out, but they're spread out in an awkward way. So he must play very good position with his cue ball. This is not an easy run out, Daniel. No, no, he's got a slight angle here on the three, but I don't, I don't even know how he's going to, how he's going to use that to his advantage. I mean, is he just going to draw off the I don't know. six, he's, the he, seven here? He is thinking in his mind now, what can I do to get to this four and to have a decent shot to play position for the five? Uh, yeah, very, my friend, my uh, friend Gary. Difficult, uh, you know, this is a funny type of layout that he's got here, and he knows it. He keeps looking at it. He is not quite sure what he wants to do. This is not easy here. This will be a good run out if he can get out. If he can get out. Well, he stunned it, and uh, not good. See, he is not. In, he is not. I don't know. Perhaps he can make the four ball in left-hand corner pocket. If he can stay away from the scratch in the right-hand corner pocket. He's going to spin and draw And bring off his cue ball up by the side pocket. Then he would be in excellent position. But he's got to make this four in the left-hand corner pocket. He's got to bring the cue ball up table by the side pocket. Watch out for the scratch. Watch out for the miss. I don't know if he has the right type of angle to get where he wants on the five ball, and he's looking at it. He is looking at it. This is not an easy run out, Daniel. I think he can spin off the rail underneath the six. So if he, if he stuns the ball, he'll come off the side rail, the long rail, spin with uh, outside English underneath he the six. He might not have the angle to get to the it doesn't, side it doesn't look like he has the angle, but no, I, I think he does. It doesn't look like he I think has, he does. You know, it doesn't look like he has I think a, I think he, he can just barely do it. He's going to, that's the shot he's going to play. I don't think so. He's going to draw the ball. Oh, my God. No, he, yeah, he gambled, and, and you know what? He won. I think he got there. He won. But now position for the six ball. No, he shot it perfect. He's good. Uh, he's good to run into the seven ball here, Daniel, and uh, <laughs> getting position on the six is another story. I mean, okay? he's, it's Vilmos in the lion's den, my friend. Well, I, I mean, he's he got to get through one lion at a time. I know this game very well. <laughs> Trust me, he has no easy out here. He has a decent shot on the five. But if he hits the seven, now what are you going to do with the six? You understand? Comprende. I comprendo. Now you're learning the game, Daniel. Yo comprendo. I know I you want to ride the nine on this shot, but that's <laughs> yeah. not the shot, okay? Uh, well, he can't really, he can't draw like he would want to because he's going to be uh, jacked up over the six. He yeah. has no easy run out here. I told you that when he was shooting the two ball. The, the way the balls lay, Look how if he can run out from right. here, Let's he's learn made something. a very, Let's learn very a little good something. run out. A very good run out if he can get out from here. Now see, he hit the ball, and there you see. Now you see what I'm trying to tell oh, you. He's Lord snuckered on the six ball. Lord you understand? I know the game pretty well, uh, Daniel You Bone. never miss from the chair, okay. that's for well, sure. No, I never missed a ball in my life in the, from the chair. <laughs> I had a ball roll out on me one time. I wasn't happy about it. But meanwhile, see the, see what the difficulty yeah. he has right now? 
I can see the balls. I know what the balls do. You got to play good to beat the balls. Not your opponent. Beat the balls. Okay? If you can beat the balls, you're one hell of a player, I can tell you that. Well, what's he going to do here? Well, he, he's going to have to try to play safe. He's snookered. And I told you, when he pocketed that five, he's going to hit the seven. And anything can happen there, and you see what happened. He is in bad shape right now. He is not the favorite to win this particular frame. But he's still at the table, okay? Now, if he can invent something in his mind, here comes the improvision again, improvising. That's what makes the game so difficult. He's in bad shape here. Uh, this is not an easy shot. It's an easy shot for him to hit the six, but is it a, you gotta play safe, you know? Where is the six gonna go? Where is the cue ball gonna go? He has no problem to hit the six. But what is he thinking in his mind? He's gonna go two rails. Okay, he's gonna go two rails. I like this. I like this, going two rails. One, two, there's the six. No, no rail. rail, he got no, no rail. rail. He hit it very soft, very softly, but had, you know, he had something invented in his mind that just didn't work out. All right. Chad Vilmont's going to come to the table with ball in hand at 1 0. Pretty, should be a pretty textbook here, so we can almost oh, he's, he's in count shape on a right one now. one I mean, he has ball in ball hand, game, and yeah. uh, he shouldn't, uh, the way he's been playing, he shouldn't have any problem making these four. But, you know, it's always easier said than done. You yes, know? sir. I mean, you got to get up there and perform. You can't take any shot for granted, because that's when you get in trouble. Okay, he's going to play the six and the seven in the same corner. And then he'll try to come out and skew ball to the other side of the table, play the eight down in the corner, play the six, seven in the same corner, play the eight, nine in the same corner. Okay, he's fine, playing the eight, nine in the same corner. <laughs> wow, he kind of banked that one in, uh, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, nice bank, they say, right? Yeah, he didn't, he didn't <laughs> hit it cleanly, but yeah. he hit it good enough to make it. That's true. And all the sweat betters are clapping right now. <laughs> one to one, having fun here at the Rum Runner Lounge, 30th annual Andy Mercer Nightball Classic with uh, Jimmy Mattia at the mic on POV Pool. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. Check out povpool.com, our watch page. You'll find, uh, you'll find out where we are streaming next uh, and future events that we're doing. Uh, if you join us in just two weeks from now, or actually uh, three weeks from now, March 14th and 15th, uh, POV Pool will be streaming the Tiger Carom Classic, a three-cushion billiard event at uh, the Silver Q in Huntington Park. So uh, we'll see you there, guys, March 14th and 15th. Save the dates, guys, and check out our watch page, povpool.com. I've noticed so far in the matches that we've done here, they're really placing the cue ball on the break, trying to make the one ball in the side pocket, uh, Daniel. It's, yeah, and it's they've, been, they've been doing that. They've been doing yeah. it constantly. 
controlled break. Yeah, definitely. But the thing I don't like about that is you're always leaving your cue ball down table. Right, because they're deploying the cut break, right? Well, I just, uh, for my money, get up there and hit them. You're going to try to make the one in the side, which they've been doing. But how, what's your chances of, uh, you know, getting a shot on a two ball? That was an interesting shot there. Instead of playing a push, Vilmos uh, elected to try to just kick at the ball. Uh, and, I don't uh, agree with that either. Yeah. Now, Chad okay. has an <laughs> excellent shot here. Put his cue ball behind the 5-9. Okay, he has an excellent shot here to really put the guy in trouble here. Now we're changing the angle a little bit, but I still like that. I think he's going to try to put the cue ball behind the 5-9. And if he can do that, well, then he's in good shape. Talking about a little defense now, a little defense. Defense wins championships, not only in football, but in pocket beards as well. <laughs> Somebody in our chat room suggested, uh, you know, would you would you ever be in favor of eliminating the push out shot? Well, push out. I understand why they did away with that. It, it takes a lot of time, and I understand that. You know, all tournaments run late. Well, no, the, the push out that they have now, which is wow! Look at this shot. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice shot. The push out that they have now, which is only one push out after the break. Yeah, well, you got to have that. I mean, there's no okay. question about it. You have to have be able to have the opportunity. Right. I mean, why why should you not be rewarded for a bad break, you know, uh, making a ball but a bad, bad, you know, break, right? Bad lie. You make a ball, you should be rewarded with at least another shot. Well, you have the opportunity for another shot. You push out. And it's up to your opponent whether he wants it or not. So you must you must have that rule. No rail. <laughs> That's because the ball's in the pocket, Daniel. Oh yeah, you're I'm right. Okay, to, Jimmy. You know, <laughs> trying to commentate with a guy that wants to ride the nine every shot. It's a little bit difficult. <laughs> Now, if the five ball goes, he's in excellent position right now, uh, Daniel. If the five ball can pass by the nine. Five ball goes, sir. I have yeah, confirmation. I'm going to tell you what. He my, did, one he of my didn't. spotters over here confirms that the five does go. Yeah, but he's not in a real good. Uh, he would have liked to come down on just a little bit farther. Now he's going to leave himself a little bit jacked up over the seven ball. And you don't want to get, no, he's, that's a six ball. He's now, he's not in a, like a great position here. You know, funny things can happen here. Okay, now here you see, does this ball pass the seven? Yeah, well it passes, but you know, the, the danger is hitting the seven. So I think, I think the hard part is hitting this softly and uh, still hitting this softly and still making the six. Okay, nice shot. He got away without hitting the seven. Of course, the seven wouldn't have moved very far. Key ball, getting position on the eight, uh, Daniel. You got to get good position here on the eight. Well, he should be all right. I mean, uh, well, he has an excellent opportunity, but uh, we all know what things can happen. Well, I think uh, he's uh, controlling his mind. Uh, his mental aspect of the game very well. So uh, he's not getting any sudden bursts of adrenaline or anything like that. And uh, he's taking it one shot at a time. 
as you see there, he actually underhit that ball. Come around two rails, probably. Mm hmm. No, yep, hit it very nice. Good he's speed. Good. Everything. Good. And Vilmos is going to walk up and and uh, he's going to tell him, like, let's save some time here. Chad Vilmont takes the lead, and it's also his break. Let's see how the break works out for him. Break hasn't been really working out for either one of these guys. I've noticed they keep playing that one ball into the side pocket. Uh, it's good if you can make it, and they've been doing good at it, I can tell you that. Yeah. But on the other hand, you're leaving your cue ball down towards the end of the rack. And that part of it I don't like. Is he going to wind up and hit these, or is he once again going to try to play the one ball into the side pocket? Going to play to one on the side, or is he going to wind up and hit these? Well, let's see what kind of a player he is. Yeah. Yep. One ball was close. He the made a ball. Four went down, and uh, so did something else. Two balls went down. He made two balls, but he has no shot on the one, so here we go with the defense. The four and the three. No shot on the one. No shot. No shot. One would think he might try to go behind the eight ball with this shot, with the cue ball. Maybe get behind the eight and the nine. It's all about the placement of the cue ball on this shot because the one ball is not going to go anywhere. So I would think he's going to try to get behind the eight ball, perhaps, if he can. Trying to get down table and behind the eight. Perfect shot. Perfect speed. Very nice shot. Almost is in trouble from here, trust me. It's going to have to go two rails. Try to come off the side rail to hit the two or the one ball, I would believe. Oh, he's going to go the other way. This is danger. Danger. Hit it perfect, but and there's scratched. a danger yep. of it. There's a danger yeah. of it, the scratch. Uh, that was a, that's so. a big scratch, a big scratch though with the one where it was. Mm -hmm. So it'll be ball in hand, Chad, with a chance to take a two-game lead against Vilmos. All the balls are open. I don't see a lot of problems here. Maybe the five to the six could get a little tricky, but uh, we'll just have to see. The three and the four went down on the break, so it's really a matter of getting almost any position you want on the five. Right, Jimmy? No, it's not okay. a matter of getting any kind of position well, on no, the five. Well, no, getting the, whatever position you choose 
to You want to get obtain. into a position where you do not move any of these balls. When the balls are spread out, you don't want to move them. That's true. Because if you move them, who knows where they're going. That's and true, And you might too. end up hooking yourself. If he controls his cue ball here, he shouldn't have a whole lot of problems. Oh, it's the but one ball first, But if he doesn't yeah. control the cue ball here and put a pinpoint where he wants it, there's a possibility, you know, you're going to run into a little trouble. Well, it is possible to get out of position uh, within two shots. You're right. Within one shot, it's possible to get out of position. Now he played this ball much differently than I thought he would. And now he has a bit of a problem. Okay. He has a bit of a problem here. Got to get good position to the four so you can get to the five. Well, he's, no, the, the, the two and the five now. The three and the four went in on the break. Uh, so the two, and then the five, and then the oh, six. What's this ball here? Is that's that, the seven. That's the seven. Yeah, that's the okay. seven. Okay, well, I guess I'm colorblind. Well, no, I told you, these balls, the colors is just so difficult sometimes to remember the Cyclops ball colors. The seven is the Robin's egg blue color. Teal. Now, uh, once again, you know, he is, this is not an easy rack that he's trying to run here. He's got to let the cue ball loose a, here, a little bit here, and uh, that's something that players don't want to do, to let the cue ball loose, but he has a decent shot on the five ball. Well, he's good, and look at this, gonna come up and down, he's perfect. He's perfect for the side pocket. He hit it with great speed there, good speed. Yeah. He's in the driver's seat right now. He seems to be a little bit confused about this angle that he has. Something about this that he doesn't like. And if there's a problem, players like this are going to see it, you know, if there's yeah. a problem. And he seems to, you know, like, what do I do here exactly? Uh, he's going to stun out off this rail and uh, just kind of an aggressive shot, but uh, he's good. He, that's good position. That's about as good as you can get with the nine ball covering the eight like that. I'm impressed. You can't ask for much better than that, right, Jimmy? He's in good shape right now. Good shape, play the eight and the nine in the same pocket. He's got a good line on the nine. He's got a good, good shot at the nine. And there you go, Pachanga, baby. Three to one. And if everything goes right for Chad, we may have a new champion this year. Long way to go, my friend. Long way to go. Long way to go. You think this is over? Forget about it.
Vilmos up to break. I want to thank all our sponsors. I want to remind you to check out the, if you're looking for pool and you want to know what's going on in the country, check out the GoPlay Pool app. Uh, GoPlay Pool is a great resource for pool players, whether you're traveling or you want to know about something that's happening locally. Uh, you want to find a tournament, you want to find a room. A lot of rooms subscribe to GoPlay Pool, so they have their rooms listed. Uh, and in, in many cases, it tells how many pool tables, what kind of food they serve, the drinks they serve, when their tournaments are. They can submit their flyers, all their posters. And uh, even I use my, I use the POV pool, I'm in the GoPlay Pool app, uh, so that I can advertise my live streams. And it sends out a notification to everybody that has uh, the GoPlay Pool app that I'll be streaming live. seeing that why you keep looking to ride the nine Daniel you won't be streaming live very long okay and you might not be alive okay <laughs> Ride a nine, Daniel Boone. Okay, all right. I like that. I like that. No, I, it's different, you know. <laughs> Let's ride a nine every shot. Anyway, guys, check out the GoPlay Pool app. Download it to your phone. And uh, I want to thank Ramin and GoPlay Pool for their support. You, too, can ride the nine with the GoPlay Pool app. <laughs> We have taken a pause for the We cause. have taken a pause. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but uh, i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to reboot the stream. Uh, I'm hearing that there are some issues, and we're dropping frames, so they couldn't be taking a break any at a better time. So uh, don't go anywhere. We're still, still recording this match. I'm just going to reboot the stream. Now it says excellent con connection. But I have a, uh, I don't understand why. Why? Crucial game coming up here, Daniel. Vilmos must win this game or he's in a bad situation, especially with the alternate break. He yeah, cannot, well, it's he can't afford one. Can't afford to go down four to one. So it's a must win game here early. It's a big game. I mean, there's a long way to go, but this is a big game right here. And he is ready to rock. Once again, the one ball in the side, Daniel, but take a look at the cue ball. I don't like this break of trying to make the one in the side when I know my cue ball is going to be on the end rail. Uh, I don't like it, you know. And it's not like it's a cinch to make the one in the side, you know. But he made it, and you see where he's at. He made two balls on the break, but he has a difficult shot here on the two, not to mention position for the three. Nice straight mm -hmm. ball. Very nice. Cue ball off the rail like that. Very nice shot. He's in perfect position now. Now he has an opportunity to win this game. Tricky little shot here. 
Don't get behind the nine, that's number one. Yeah, he's looking at two, looking to see what, what he wants to do here. He's gonna stay away from the nine ball, absolutely, there you go. This is a big game for him, Daniel. Huge win, game, huge. Win this game to be able to break and run out, that's, and that's what he's gonna do. He's back in action. He needed to win that game. Three to two, and Chad's gonna break. Rocking and rolling here at the Rum Runner. That's Got right. 40, 50,000 people in the joint. Good luck trying to find a seat. <laughs> they park down the, down the, about four blocks away. You might get a parking place, you know what I mean? <laughs> How long have you been coming to the Rum Runner, uh, Jimmy? Did you, is this one of the first watering holes you landed in? Uh, well. When you first came to Vegas? Whatever is the closest watering hole when I came to Vegas, check me in. I don't care if it's Joe's bar. <laughs> I'll have a long, tall, cool one if you don't mind. <laughs> All right, but you kept coming back, right? No, I love this place. This is the I number one do. spot in Las Vegas for bar table pool. We have leagues, we have money games, we have tournaments. You got it all here at the Rum Runner, I want to tell you that. And <laughs> they, they treat you like kings and queens in here. I love what you told me over the phone uh, the other day when I told you, do you need anything? I can bring you anything from L.A.? You said, yeah, bring me a screenwriter and a producer That's and a director. Right. That's right. Let's, <laughs> let's make a movie. You know, you know any good ghostwriters? Uh, yeah, I'd like to talk to them. <laughs> That's one thing I always liked about you, Jimmy, is uh, you always spoke from the heart. You always tell it like it is, you know. You, you may not uh, share the opinion of everyone, but you, sh you at least got the balls to share your opinion, and that's important. Well, I love the sport. I root, I root for the best things to happen in this sport and for the men and for the women. I know how difficult it is when you're out there on a tour trying to make a living at this game. It's very, very difficult. A lot of tremendous competition from all over the world, and I just root for the best for everyone. I know. It breaks my heart to see somebody lose a match sometimes, you know? Uh, even though uh, I like both players. I want, I want everybody to win. I don't want anybody to lose. Mm -hmm. I want us all to win. Very nice shot there, defensive shot. He could have gone for the one ball in that corner pocket. He had a shot, but who knows where the cue ball was gonna go there. So he, he did the smart thing there. He played a good defensive shot. He's put Vilmos right up against the four ball. Vilmos is gonna have to go to the rail. And depending upon how much of the ball hit, that he's able to hit, now you have to figure out how do I hit this ball where can I make it go to play safe? Well, this is a push, right? So, so Vilmos can give it back, right? No, no, he hit the ball. Oh, he, he hit the ball and hooked him. No, it is a push. Let's wake up, uh, Daniel. I only work it's not with a professionals, push. Okay. okay? I didn't see. Okay, it was too busy. There you go. I was too busy talking about you, Jimmy. I'm here with my partner in crime, Daniel Bush. <laughs> I wish I had a million just like him. Problem is, I got about two million just like him, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> he played an excellent defensive shot there. Now, he had a shot on the one ball, but he could see that, uh, you know, uh, I might be better off trying to hook the guy, yeah. and that's what he did. Yeah. 
And now let's well, now see. Let's, oh, uh, let's let's what's this? Doing? this, this uh, oh, he left Just him a shot. Just going to make the nine. He left him a shot. I thought he was hooked. Wow. Maybe I better wake up here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it looked like he was hooked when we looked at the okay. monitor. It looked uh, like, yeah. a, like a I, I didn't know. I didn't know he was hooked there. I didn't think he was hooked. Well, he certainly wasn't. He had almost a straight-in shot. I thought he was hooked. Yeah, Bill Mush is uh, right. going to tie there. this up. Good speed there. Now, what about the five, though? The five and the nine, is that the shot? Five-nine combo? I think so. You're always looking to play combos or ride the <laughs> nine, Daniel. I'm, we're going to have to look at this. <laughs> He is, uh, has a problem here. He does. He's going to, first of all, he's got to get on the four, which is. <laughs> yeah. No, he, he can do that, but the five has nowhere to go. Now, if you cannot break the five out with the four ball, you must play position to where you can have a good safety shot. You can win the game with safety shots, with defense. And that's what he's going to look at right now. Is there a way that I can break the five out? If not, how can I play position to leave my man tough? Because I'm going to play the five ball. I'm going to play it safe. So we're going to see what he's going to do here. <laughs> Divish, my friend, thank you for your generous super chat of 49.99. Now, I don't like this because <laughs> I don't amazing, know dude. what he's going to do with the five ball here. Uh, not only does he have to make this four in the side, but what are you going to do with the five ball? It looks as though he's straight in. He's going to play the five nine combo. A five nine combo. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, I am. But so what? He's going to float the cue ball down. He might be straight in. He might not be able to get down table. Well, he, yeah, you're right. Because the eight, and the eight, this the is eight, a problem. The eight has. might be in the way, I think. No, the eight's not in the way, but he's so straight in on the four ball in the side pocket. How do you get your cue ball to come down table? No, he he's he looking, wants to he's come down table, shot. but does he have he's the angle? He's looking at my shot. He's looking at my yeah, shot. Yeah, well, I look at your shot, too, if you got the right angle. If you don't have the right angle, your shot is dead. Okay, <laughs> forget about it. If he if he plays the no, side, he, he is the very cue ball straight hits in the on eight. this ball. He doesn't want to hit the eight. You know what? He he could play safe. He could just play. Well, bring the cue ball behind him. He the maybe eight. can uh, drive the faller down the rail, put his cue ball behind the eight. That's what I'm just saying right now. Okay, now you now you're waking up, my friend. I'm not using the noggin now. Now you're learning the game. Wait a minute, he's no, he's cutting it down to the corner. He ain't cutting in the corner, is he? Wow, nice shot. Oh nice my shot. God! But where's he at? Once again, you got to. He he's got a chance for a safety. There's so many different variables in this game, uh, Daniel. It's hard to say what somebody's going to do when they're up there shooting because there's just so many different selections of what you can do. And that's what makes the game so difficult. He's still at the table. That's the number one thing, okay? He made a nice shot on the four ball down in the corner. I thought he was going to play it in the side. He wanted to play it in the side, but he couldn't. And there's your combination shot, Daniel. There's the combo shot on a nine. Very nice shot. Very nice shot. Woo! Very nice. Ah, for once, I'm right. Thank you, Jimmy. Bill Mosh ties it up. It's three to three. Now we're talking a race to three, Daniel. A race to three. And who has the advantage right now? The breaker. Now, who is breaking game number seven, uh, Daniel? Vilmos should be breaking. Vilmos should be breaking. Okay. Well, it's a long way to go. It's a race to three. With Vilmos breaking the balls, I guess we'll make him a dollar five favorite. Okay, a dollar five favorite. 
which is nothing, okay? There's still a little time, by the way. Still a little time to send a, a private message to Christina Gonzalez so that you can be eligible for the Southwest Cube. Oh, did they cut it? I'm on oh, well, side. never mind. No time left. One ball on the side, and once again, no shot on the two. Lance Salazar, he's in our chat room. He says, Vilmos gets a lot of respect, but honestly, not enough respect. This dude is world class. Yes, he uh, is. I'd say he's world class. I've never seen him lose a match. That's right. Okay? <laughs> I've watched him play 3,000 times. I've never seen him lose a match. Yeah, I'd say he's world class, okay? <laughs> Yeah, you're right. It's a race to three. And here we go with the safeties and the push out and what's going to happen here. Uh, he, uh, he does not have an advantage here, even though he gets to push out. He actually is at a disadvantage because if things aren't right, guess what? You're going to give the shot back to Belmos. And yeah. if things are right, you're going to take the shot yourself. Now, this will be interesting is where he's going to roll out, okay? Well, he rolled out to hook himself, and he did. Now it's, it's up to you. This is, these are things that happen in the game of pool. Do you want this shot, Daniel, or do you want to give it back to your opponent? And if you do take this shot, what do you intend to do with this shot? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's always. He gave the shot back to Bill Moss. Oh, and that hit the rail. I, it hit the rail. I don't know about that. It hit the rail. No, it was a no. foul. Oh, wow. I'm surprised he hit that shot so soft. Wow. But perhaps he just didn't hit it the way he wanted to hit it, or he wouldn't have hit it so Looked soft. Looked like it hit the rail to me. But those are the things that happen. Oh, look at that, the combo. Early nine. Yeah, that's one of your shots, That's Daniel. one of my shots. I Riding the nine to everywhere. Myself. You know, one of your shots. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you want to play a little later, Jimmy? There you All go. Right. <laughs> You're at the Rum Runner Lounge with us here on this beautiful uh, February 23rd, 2020. This is the finals of the Andy Mercer Memorial Nine Ball Classic. It's the 30th annual. This tournament's been going on for 30 years at the same place. 64 players played out in just three days on these four diamond bar boxes. One of the most well-run tournaments uh, in this country, this beautiful country of ours. And one of the toughest bar table tournaments you're gonna find. That's right, us. hosting players from all over the world. 64 players. We, we also got one of the toughest Stretch. commentators in town, Jimmy Mattia. Toughest? <laughs> Let me tell you, you gotta play in this team, you wanna see tough. <laughs> Joe Dangerfield Talking over to here. Talking to Joe Canella, <laughs> another mobster out of Chicago. Hiya, Joe, how you doing, buddy? I'm, I'm good, is this awesome or what? This is awesome, this is, this is better than awesome, my friend. Yeah. It's Thank awesome you. to have you, see you here again. Thank you to Daniel Bush for uh, coming down and supporting this event every year and getting a Floyd star on there to announce this world-class pool that they're playing. <laughs> and it's it's amazing the, uh, the the quality of pool we got to watch in, 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 in this whole day Sunday, and I'm out. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot, Joe. Talking Joe's with Joe Canella, the guy, the inventor of the cinnamon-flavored brandy. If you haven't had any Canella cinnamon-flavored brandy, uh, take a shot of that. Pretty good, my friends. Canella Spirits uh, Farino Distillery. 
in uh, Reno, Nevada. Run by his son. His son has that uh, distillery. You can check out farinodistillery.com. Uh, it, what? In Nevada. In, it's in Nevada, not Nevada. Okay, I'm from Great Britain. You're a Tyson Fury fan. I'm from Great. No, I'm from Great Britain, not Great Britain. Belmos needs this game here, and I think he's in excellent position to win this game. But he needs this game for sure. Uh oh! Look out! Look out for the scratch. Whoa, he almost got the corner hook, too. I don't know. Did he get corner hook? I don't Boy, I don't know. No, I don't think he did, but came very, very oh, close. Oh, he did come close, didn't he? Look at that. Look All at right. the possible scratch, too. This is a, this is a missable shot, a makeable Woo! shot. All right. That was a pressure shot there. Trust me. And just like that, we're tied up again. This match is nip and tuck. Now it's two out of three, Daniel. You're right, it is. Best two out of three, race to two. And Vilmos is breaking again. Chad racking the balls. That means if they go to the hill, it'll be Vilmos's break. So I'm still making Vilmos minus a dollar five, minus a dollar five to win this match. <laughs> okay, pretty okay. stingy with the odds, all I right. understand, but uh, right. long way to go here. Two out of three for all the marbles. Pressure is on. Okay, this is where the pressure's really on you, Daniel. You got to mentally get ready for this. You know. You let's let's not forget uh, all of our sponsors: uh, Tiger Products, West State Billiards, JB Cases, Lux Electric Car, GoPlayPool.com. I want to thank them for uh, making it possible for me to pack my bags and get on out here. And, um, uh, you know, I really appreciate you guys. And I hope you guys check them out, too, on the Internet. Um, you can click on the link to our sponsors in the description of this video, in the description of this uh, event, just down below on YouTube. So please check out their links. Send them an email and thank them for supporting Pool. Once again, pocketed the one ball in the side pocket. He's fortunate, he has a decent shot on the two. He has a good shot to get down table for the three. But easier said than done. But he has a kind of angle where he can may perhaps get down table for the three. You think the two goes? I believe the two ball goes. I believe it does. I think he has a shot on the two ball. I'm not sure, uh, Jimmy. Well, I mean, I'm not accusing you of maybe uh, no, maybe you're maybe blindness you're right. or anything. But, but uh, when I looked at it on the monitor from the opening break, I thought that he had a shot on the two ball. Well, here. he looked like he was getting down, and he looks like he's still getting down to shoot it. But no, he played no, the billiard. He played the billiard and made it. What oh, a very shot! Nice shot. What a no, shot. you're right. He did not have a shot wow. on the two ball. What a way to make that adjustment so quickly. And not only that, the speed. You know, look Speed's at the perfect. speed. perfect. Now he's man, he's developed the two so that he can, and he's also uh, got he, a good angle on the two to come down for the three. He's, he's in pretty good shape right now. Boy, pretty this good is shape right now. That was a nice shot he made. A gutsy shot. Yeah, it was know, gutsy. It was a gutsy shot. Clutch, very clutch under pressure to do it like this. Talking about Willie Vilmos from Budapest, Hungary. Whoever thought they played pool in Hungary? I mean, come on, pal. <laughs> I thought they'd just milk cows over there. Yeah, or camels or something. I don't know. I mean, but... Uh, Pool's so popular all over the world now. Look out, what look out, What are we look talking out. about? Look no. out. Oh, bad mistake there by Vilmos, bad mistake. You know, I think he was genuinely playing the short side of the three for well, some reason. 
He obviously didn't have the right type of an angle to come out for the three ball, so he tried to suck it down. Anyway, that's a <laughs> bad mistake. Just barely, barely scratched. Run out, Ryan. I gotta ask you where you picked you where you found this guy in Clinton, Iowa, and brought him over here. Well, <laughs> took a lot of scouting. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know about this guy until today. And then I found out he was in from Iowa, raised the eyebrows for me. I, I believe he used to play for the Tigers. He played for the Tigers. Tigers. You're talking about the kittens? <laughs> yeah, the Tigers, okay. I think I could play for the Tigers or the Lions. Well, he's putting on quite a match. He's putting on quite a match. Huge game here. Puts him on the hill. Whoever wins this game right now, advantage to Chad Vilmont. Got five balls on the table. He's in perfect position. Don't miss an easy shot. Don't miss position. Don't do anything wrong, okay? <laughs> But he has a chance right now, and he's in good position for this game. Yeah, I think me and uh, Chad can uh, set up a scotch doubles match with you and, and your your boy after this. We go to putters, play scotch I doubles. You give him a tie if you want. We'll play scotch doubles. Me and Chad versus you and whoever else. <laughs> Forget about me. You might, take, you might take that. Forget about me. Bar, barmaid asked me to play some 20 a game. I had to turn her down. What can I do? <laughs> okay, you're in good shape now. You're in good shape right now. Yeah, Chad's in, uh, Chad's in a good position. This has got to be uh, a big moment for him, a high point for him in his pool of life, you know? I mean... To be here at the 30th annual in the finals against Vilmos, yeah, probably one of the best players from Europe uh, we've seen in a long obvious, time. I never saw the guy lose a match. I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah. I like that walk around the table right there. He's yeah, the walk around the table is. Uh, a little adrenaline off. And let's get this done. Yeah, he's been doing that all day. He's been just chopping wood, man. He's uh, he's making it happen. Yeah, oh, nice. Very nice. Spun yeah. around the nine. Very nice. Good speed. He's uh, in control. JNS Electronics called that in the chat room. He's going to make it to the hill here. It's going to be 5 4, Chad. Stick around after this, guys. We're gonna give away uh, all the prize money for this event. We're gonna get a walk around from all of our uh, finishers. And, uh, and then we're gonna give away the Southwest Q that uh, belonged to the beloved Terry Downey who passed away uh, uh, last Thursday. May he rest in peace. Uh, yes, sir. My great friend for over 50 years. Yeah, one of Jimmy's best friends yep. for over yeah. 50 years. I mean, uh, yeah. five decades is a, a long time to know anybody. But to be best friends like that. And we have a picture over here on the wall of Terry Downey and an Orfeo Laurie. If you don't know who an Orfeo Laurie is, he's a Hall of Famer from back in the 1920s and 1930s. Terry Downey played him an exhibition in the 60s in New York. They built it as the oldest professional versus the youngest professional. So Terry Downey was a professional player for many, many years, of course. Sorry to interrupt you, but take a look. It's Chad's break on the hill. And, and I don't believe know, he made anything. No, I mean, the break has just been horrible for both players. Not only that, look where the nine ball is. If you can get to the four ball, you got a, a really nice shot on a four nine combination.
it's not pretty. I tell you, I tell you. Vilmos at the table, he's looking around. That makes me nervous enough just to see him at the table walking around it like that. Whoa. Well, look out for the 4-9 combination. Of course, you don't want to shoot a combination if you don't have to. I mean, the balls are open. He would like to work around the balls, but he could find himself in a situation where you can play maybe a 4-9. I thought the 9 ball was a little bit closer to the corner pocket than it is. So I'm thinking maybe he's going to try to run out here. But he ha also has a chance if he gets perfect with the cue ball that he can go for a 4-9 combination. The four passes the eight, so, I mean, well, traditionally. Well, yeah, but if you're going the other way, if you're going the other way, it all yeah, depends yeah. where what he does with this two ball and where he gets on the three ball. Right, right. You know, so that's these are the difficulties of pool. Have you had uh, Vilmos over to the D spot yet? Oh, sorry, hold on. What's that? I have not had him over to the D spot. No. I think this is the spot where Jimmy typically be playing for the jump shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I told him he better sign the, the jump cue uh, that's given away later today. This is really reminiscent. Of uh, POV the after first dark. Time I met both of you. Yeah, I know. I know. What's up, D? Crucial shot here. Oh, he's good. He's good. He's now, perfect. now you see the position that he has an option here. Well, is let's he, see. Let's he see what the angle to... is. He's got. He's straight. He could yeah, draw back. Yeah. Okay. So you can forget about the four nine. He's he he's draw in back. Uh, run out position now. He's he not, is. He's not going to play a four nine. He can just draw back to where he is now. Oh no! He just went forward. Okay. okay. He had a little angle. He's perfect. 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 Everybody. He's perfect. Well, he's not perfect yet, Daniel. There's a long way to go here. You're right. Okay. First first game, first match was Hill Hill. And the only way Vilmos can win it now is if he gets to the hill. Okay, now he's perfect, Daniel. Now he's in good position. Now he's in good position. Where and he'll have the break in the last game, right? Yeah, he will. Okay, that changes the odds. Changes okay. the odds, but I got to tell you, Jimmy, the break has not been working out well for these guys. Well, that's something you have to deal with. Of course, this game's not over. We were, were talking, and, and this game's not over with, trust me. Anything I'd can happen. Been, I'd have been much happier, though. Anything if, can uh, happen. If Vilmos would have just rode the nine. Well, you want to ride the nine every shot, okay? This is not the way you play the game of pool, okay, Daniel? <laughs> he had the chance, though. He could have done it. <laughs> yeah, well, I had the chance to hit a 20-team parlay, but it didn't happen, okay? You have that chance every day. <laughs> Okay, pocket the seven ball in the corner, snatch the snowball back a little bit, and we're in business. Okay, that'll get it. He's that'll good. get it. He's good. We're going to the hill, Daniel. We're going to the hill yep. for all the marbles. <laughs> hill, hill, the second time in a row. Wow. Best of luck to both players. Absolutely. You're watching the finals of the Andy Mercer live from the Rum Runner. I'm here with Jimmy Mattia. My name is Daniel Bush, and you're watching POV Pool. Give us a thumbs up. This is the last game you're going to see this evening. All of these great matches that we've had here at the Rum Runner, it finally comes down to this for first place. And when and, you know it, when uh, you know what's it. first, 5,000? First place first. is like 56 million, pal. We're putting more Plus money in this than we are in golf, okay? 56 million. And who wouldn't know, Daniel, that it all comes down to one game? Are you kidding me?
Well, you know, it all comes down really to Chad missing that five ball to the side in the last set. Remember? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, threw it out. He threw yeah. it out. He had a chance. Vilmos with the break. That's really and what it came And there's the one down. in the side again, oh Daniel. My the one in the, and look at this. This was look God's break this. right here. Now, now you can ride the nine, Daniel. I think he's going to go for a combination shot here, possibly. He's going to po ride the nine. Possibly has a combination <laughs> here, two nine. First place, 5,000. Second place, 2,500. We got a $2,500 difference. Third place, 1,600. Fourth place, 11. He's got to hit this two ball and very so thin, very thin on the nine, and he can make this shot. Ho oh, ho! Vilmos Foldish takes wow. down his second championship of the Andy Mercer. Wow. Who would have thought it would have ended like this? So quickly. Wow. Unbelievable. And you got to hand it to Chad Vilmont. I mean, what an effort he put I into this. I have never event. seen him lose a match. Vilmos, you're talking That's about, right? That's correct, yeah. Dave Mundo, <laughs> <true>. okay? This <laughs> is the 16th match that I have seen him play. I have never seen him lose one match. <laughs> And, uh, and and see, folks, I told you, Jimmy never lies. <laughs> My lying, I'm dying, okay? Thanks again to everybody, uh, to uh, the Rum Runner staff, to uh, Gordy Hill, to Gino Hill, Jim Blakeman, Mike Gans, Darren Domingo, and all the staff here at the Rum Runner. I want to thank Jack Murray, Tim Kovacs, Max Everly, uh, Jimmy Mattia. Steve Dittmar, Christina no, Gonzalez, Andy Hughes, Didi Caballo, uh, Ryan DeBerg, <laughs> uh, one of Chris Carballo, Didi's son, and I want to thank all of the people, people, people that contributed and sent us donations. If you ever want to donate to POV Pool, you can. Uh, our, P our PayPal address is povpool at gmail.com. Really appreciate. Uh, all of your support and thank you so much. Keep loving pool. And I tell you what, if you really want, represent POV Pool by buying a t-shirt or a hoodie. You can just click below underneath this video window and pick up a t-shirt, a hoodie, or a piece of merchandise that has our branding on it. We really want to thank you guys for supporting POV Pool over the years. And uh, we'll see you guys March 14th and 15th for the Tiger Carom Classic. Thanks also to our sponsors, GoPlaypool.com, Lux Electric Cars, JB Cases, West State Billiards, and uh, last but not least, Tiger Products and the Icebreaker Q. Keep loving pool, and uh, thanks again. Thanks again, Jimmy. I appreciate it. My pleasure. And thanks to my spotter over here. What's your name? Johnny Vegas. I like it. Vegas, not Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to do the... Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Divish. Divish Babu. You didn't need to do that. I appreciate that. Uh, we're going to do the uh, prize fund now. And... Uh... And uh, don't go anywhere. We're going to hand out all the prize money. Thanks a lot, everyone.